In today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at a uh, simple little program called PV, spelt PV. Should be in your repositories if you don't already have it installed. And uh, basically, when you're making Bash programs, sometimes you got stuff going on in the background and you want to give your user some sort of visual so they know uh, that your functions, your, your application is still going and hasn't locked up. And progress bars are the best way to do this, or one of the best ways at least. Um, and in the past, I've shown you Zenity, and Zenity will give you a GUI uh, progress bar. But uh, to actually have one in the terminal, so it's just in your, your script there, or if you don't have uh, a GUI like Xorg running, uh, this will allow you to give them somewhat of a visual. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just basically make up a command that's going to basically generate a lot of traffic. Let's see. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to say while. I'm going to start a while loop. I'll say, whoops, one. I'll say do. So it's going to loop over and over again. I'm going to say echo test. And then I'll do sleep. And I'll sleep for one second. And then I'll say done. And when we do that, you can see every second it prints out test on the screen. Now, if this was a background function, and your user couldn't see those words coming up on the screen, obviously echoing without that. I understand this isn't like the best case scenario. I'm just trying to give you a, an example here. But if you can't see the test, you don't know, is the process still running? Is, is it stuck? What's going on? So what we're going to do is I'm going to kill that with control C, type out the same command, and we're going to pipe that into PV. So just pipe PV. And this is after the done, because we're piping the whole loop into PV in this case. I'll hit enter, and you can see We've got it going on here, and it isn't perfect because it's adding a new line each time because of the echo. And as you said, this is a background prog. This, in theory, would be a background pro process, so you wouldn't have that. So the way we do that is basically PV grabs whatever information is being piped into it and then prints it back out. So if we don't want to view the output of that command, we can either pipe it into a file, or if it doesn't need to be saved, we can put it into our device null which will basically erase it as it comes in so we do that and now we get uh, oh <laughs> gotta use our greater than symbol there to put it into device null there we go and as you can see we now have a bar going it's uh, not giving you a percentage because in this particular case there's no end point now there are cases where you can use this when you're transferring files across a network or something large and you can get uh, some sort of progress there with a percentage but in this case, uh, it's telling us how, uh, how much data has been transferred. In this case, we're at 105 bytes right now. It tells you how long it's been running, 25 seconds. And it tells you how fast it's transferring the information, just under 5 bytes per second here. And uh, so that is how you can uh, give your user an output. Now, I can control C to stop that, because that, once again, is a loop that will go on forever. Uh, I can also start off as I like to start off a lot of my scripts with the clear commands. So we get a nice little cleared screen here. Or we can clear the command, clear the screen, and then do another command of echo, and we'll say progress, ooh, progress um, active. How do I use those? There we go. And so now we get progress active, and then we got our little progress bar going there. Um, so once again, that's the PV command. It should be in your repositories if you don't already have it installed. And just pipe whatever application you have going into PV, and it will, uh, in a way, kind of like the T command, display it up on the screen, uh, or pipe it into a file, redirect it into a file, or pipe it into another program. So. That right there is the PV command. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Visit bashscripts.info for more video tutorials like this or filmsbychris.com for uh, a bunch of stuff, open source tutorials and software. Have a great day.